Somebody's got to talk about this in this business niche and I guess it's just gonna have to be me over the last 48 hours YouTube has been recommending me a lot of a lot of videos around like the top businesses to start in 2018 and obviously last year in 2017 because we're fresh into the new year a lot of people seem to have a lot of knowledge on like what can make you the most money and how you can get rich with very little experience or very very little money to start and it's been honestly pissing me off. Um, I've been going through a lot of these videos over the last 18 and a half hours, nonstop binge, binge watching them. And thankfully, thank God I have a cup of coffee here. I just wouldn't be able to survive, literally. The majority of them are very vague and ambiguous. They don't show proof. They don't go through walkthroughs. They don't go through detail. They pretty much give you common sense. So I want to step up to the plate. I wanted to break down a couple videos and then I wanted to give you guys my take on what the best businesses really are out there. So first, let's actually take a look at it. Let's just go over to YouTube, okay? Like how bad could it possibly get? Hello about, friends, my name is Ranjit or you are watching Ranjit Digital Market. What really solidifies the video to begin with is that proof at the bottom left hand corner and then you got the emoji there. I'm going to be rich, obviously, after I watch this video. Wait, wait, this guy's got 160,000 subscribers? I'm doing something wrong, really wrong. Million dollar e-commerce business behind the scenes. Look, hell yeah, I want to see what is behind the scenes of a million dollar e-commerce business. What's up, YouTube? It's me, Rashad. I'm just going to exit the ad. I'm not going to say anything yet. I want to say something. I'm not saying anything. 360 way process, Rashad. And today, I'm about to give you guys a look behind the scenes of my e-commerce business. It's I'm down. I'm all with you, Rashad. Teach me. Teach me the ways. Be my senpai. It's not a million dollar business. Excuse me. I just used that title to clickbait y'all to get y'all here. But look. Motherfucker. What? This is going to be based on things that I've tried that have worked really well for me and made me money and things that I haven't tried but I am going to be paying more attention to in 2018 and giving a go and uh, I'll be sharing those experiences with you guys on the channel here. So my breakdown comes down to six online businesses and they can make you a lot of money if you work them, if you're consistent with them. But the first one that we're covering is affiliate marketing, all right, and CPA marketing. I'll get into CPA marketing here in a second, but affiliate marketing, if you don't know what that is, you're making money every time you make a sale. If you get started in affiliate marketing, go with digital products, go with subscription-based digital products from ClickBank, ClickSure, really great places where you can find decent products just to start making some income, all right, bringing in some revenue. And of course, with subscription-based products, that means you get one customer on it this month, that same customer is going to pay you the next month and the month thereafter and the month thereafter that which is awesome because the number one thing a new person or a seasoned veteran who've been, who's been struggling on the internet should focus on is leverage. Um, also, side note, CPA marketing is, is cool because you can get involved in it and you don't have to make money by making sales, not like affiliate marketing. Okay, if you go to OfferVault, you can see that there are some companies that will pay you $8 a lead. You know how easy it is to generate a lead? All you have to do is get traffic. You don't have to know how to do email marketing. You don't have to know how to follow up with people. You don't have to know how to create a capture page or a website. All you need to know is how to create quality traffic and drive that traffic to a person's website like this one on the screen here and they will pay you eight dollars every time somebody goes to this and enters their email in there you'll get eight bucks every single time imagine getting 10 people to do that every day that's 80 bucks a day okay that's that's full-time income for most people okay not too bad you can go to places like max bounty you can go to click booth you can also go to pure fly all right these are all really good places now click booth pure fly and Max Bounty have an application process you have to fill out. Just take a social media profile account that you have. A YouTube channel works really great for this. A Facebook page works, works really great for this. It has to be your own. You take that link, you paste it in there. It'll get your application accepted. Okay, so now let's move on to the second one. Social media marketing. My God, this one is competitive because the reality is social media marketing is really attractive and easy for anyone to get started. You don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be a marketing guru. You just need to know how to post on social media consistently and grow a following on there 
and you're good. You're good to go, okay? Because then what you can do, you can reach out to companies that have built traditionally but have social media profiles online or don't have social media profiles online and you can offer to do their social media for them on their behalf because most of the time they don't have somebody already doing it. They're not posting consistently on their profiles, on their Facebook, on their Twitter. They will be willing to pay you a thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars a month. Now the problem with this is, is everyone is going out there and they're just focusing on getting those one or two clients every single month so that they can walk away from their job. All right. That's what they're focusing on. And obviously in order to do that, the strategy most people are using is direct message. They're messaging people on Instagram, on Facebook groups. And then after they message a hundred people every single day, I mean, think about it. That's 3000 people a month. They're getting one to two clients every single month. That's a lot of work. All right. That's a lot of work just to get one or two clients. And of course, yeah, you'll be making maybe a thousand, maybe $2,000 a month if you're lucky, but it's super competitive. It's super, super competitive. So if you want to edge in the marketplace and you want to outbeat the competition, the best tip I can give you guys who's watching this and maybe you're interested in starting a social media marketing agency is lower your cost of services and over deliver your value of goods. Instead of charging an arm and a leg, which let's be realistic, a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars a month to manage small businesses and independent entrepreneurs, social media accounts to help them grow them. It's a lot of money and you're leaving out a huge demographic of small businesses that can't afford that, that can only afford $200 a month, $100 a month, maybe $500 a month. So with this, what it's going to allow you to do is actually get more business and actually build more trust with the marketplace. Okay. Because what will happen is if you go out there and you follow the same marketing strategy, like everyone else is doing, you just direct message people on LinkedIn, people on Facebook that are entrepreneurs and business owners, you'll get a lot of people who will actually want to purchase your services from you. If you're charging only instead of a thousand bucks a month, a hundred dollars a month, or max, I would say $200 a month. That's the max I would suggest you to go if you have no results to show for and you've never done any type of online business before. People who you reach out to and you start networking with, when they ask you what you charge for your services and you tell them you only charge $200 a month or $100 a month to manage social media accounts and you'll help them grow from 1,000 followers to 10,000 followers and you actually have proof that you know what you're doing, like maybe you already have a social media account that you've taken from zero to 500 or 1,000 and you have a lot of engagement on one of these Facebook pages you run, that would be really awesome if you do because a lot of people out there, they have no proof. They're saying they can help manage your social media accounts and grow them, but they've never done that themselves. So if you want an edge in the marketplace, have some proof, all right? That's really going to allow you to get people to want to spend money with you because you know what you're talking about. All right, so now let's move on to the third one, consulting. I love this one. This one is really easy for every single one of you to get started in. If you choose to, if you don't, I mean, that's that's okay, all right? The reality is if you have a passion, interest in anything, all right, it doesn't matter what it is as long as it's something that gets a ton of attention. If it's something that doesn't, like maybe you like to sniff uh, markers, I mean, you're probably talking about a handful of people that will actually be interested in that passion that you have sniffing markers, okay? And maybe you got some issues. I, I really recommend seeing a doctor. Consulting, you can get started really easily. Let's say you're somebody who likes going to the gym, you love going and working out. What you could do is become a virtual personal trainer consultant. Now I know there's gonna be a few people who are like, Brando, how would that work? You know, virtual personal training assistant, that makes no sense. Personal trainers, they have to physically be there to personally train people and that's what people like and pay for. Here's something that I encourage you to think about, thinking outside the box. What you could do, yeah, people like personal trainers to physically be there and push them and push their mental so, so that they can get the physique that they want. The reality is personal trainers are expensive as hell. So what I would encourage you to do again is underprice your services over deliver your value of goods. So instead of charging $500 a month or whatever for a couple sessions, charge a hundred bucks a month, $50 a month. Okay. You're just getting started. It'll build up your customer base really quickly, get people trusting you and talking about you really fast if you do that, all right, from a small group of people because you're not focusing on how I can get this one customer that I'll be rich. That's what everyone is doing. They're focusing on how they can do the least amount of work for the most amount of money. Not you. You're not like that. You're different, I hope. Dear God, please. I don't know what that was. That was me crossing myself. What the hell? Once you build up your following through YouTube videos or through Instagram, okay, it'll be a little bit tough on Instagram. Instagram's pretty damn competitive. I mean, look at it. Okay, it's, it's pretty competitive. YouTube would be a little bit easier for you. You know, you do tutorials, walkthroughs on diets, exercises, things you're knowledgeable on based on your passion. And then what you can do is you can introduce to your following how you have a consulting program where you get on a Skype call with them or a FaceTime call 
phone to phone where you can see them work out and you can coach them through their earbuds that they're listening to while they're working out in the gym. You can critique their workout. You can give them diet plans. You can push them. You can yell at them in their earbuds while they're going to the gym. And this is all virtual. This is all through the handheld device. When they're working out, they just point their camera like this and you can see them. They can see you. All right. Like that's the world we're in already where people who are at the gym, I don't know if you guys have been to the gym. I mean, clearly I have. I'm the buffest person on the block. A lot of the times you see people on their phones already changing their music. So why not be there as a personal trainer virtually and price less than the competition that is physically there already? Um, what would be another example of this that's a little bit different? Well, let's say you're somebody who's into video games, okay? Well, what could you do? Maybe you don't wanna build up a following on social media. Well, here is some food for thought. Very simple, go to the people who have an influence already on social media. You flip the table. You can go to a place like Twitch or on YouTube's gaming or live streams. And one of the problems people have who are live streamers is their chat box. Their chat box is going crazy while they're playing video games, while they're live streaming, and they can't monitor it simultaneously. Some people have hundreds, some people have thousands of people typing in the chat simultaneously, and influencers will actually pay you to be the moderator of their chat because they don't want harassment, they don't want people being racist or slanderous in their chat, and if people are doing that, they can't they can't delete that or block that person or kick that person out of the chat because they're playing a video game or they're over here. And again, there's like 100 people chatting there so they can't even find the person. And a good example of this is if we go over to a business called Stream Consultant. All right, this would be an example of what you could offer to people. Do you have to have a fancy website? No. So going over to streamers on Twitch and messaging them and people who are doing YouTube gaming live, all right, going to them who are getting some interaction in their chat, network with them through DM direct messaging and then next thing you know you may possibly have somebody who is interested in your services so next moving on drop shipping really awesome business in the top six to make a lot of money in 2018 you're going over to wholesalers on Aliexpress Alibaba you mark the listing up and obviously you're making the profit in between there you don't have to worry about shipping and handling you don't have to worry about fulfillment you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to create products you don't have to store products in your garage or your shelf or your closet None of that. That's the cool thing with drop shipping. You don't touch any of it. You can also go to redbubble.com and you can drop ship items from there. Now, of course, with Etsy and Redbubble, you're not going to have a high profit margin. You're going to be marking things up maybe 10 or $15 more than what they're listed for. And they're already a high price, but you can still do it. You can still do it and it'll still work. The only difference is with Etsy and Redbubble, those things are being shipped really, really quickly because they're already in America and North America in general. Rather than with AliExpress and Alibaba, the shipping time is going to be a lot longer because it's from China. That's typically not an issue for people if you mention it in your Shopify store that shipping times are going to be X, Y, and Z long. If you haven't seen my how I made $300 in one day with Shopify dropshipping, I highly recommend you to go check that out it's somewhere on the channel here because the best thing you can do when it comes to dropshipping shipping is pretty much what I've said in that video and also what I've seen in common with a lot of other successful dropshippers because I'm not an expert on it but going with a niche it really helps you save money and it really helps you make money a lot faster not overnight it's not like a get rich quick thing um, but it really helps you get conversions a lot quicker now moving on let's talk about cryptocurrency okay because everyone is an expert now and a guru and everyone wants to get rich with cryptocurrency I don't want you guys to think about investing in cryptocurrency I don't want you to get confused with that and I know there's going to be people who are going to be like, Brando, I have investments in cryptocurrency and I'm getting a return on my investment every single day. So it is a business and I am making money daily. I'm talking about becoming knowledgeable on crypto in different areas and then sharing what you're becoming knowledgeable on social media, specifically on YouTube. And I really don't want you guys to do what most people are doing out there. I've seen so many videos and I'm sure you guys have too. It's overly saturated. You got crypto chick, you got crypto man, you got crypto iron man. Everyone's a guru on this subject. But the funny thing is if you see a lot of these YouTube videos, a lot of them have no proof. Don't act like you're a guru. Don't pretend you're investing in something. If you're into cryptocurrency, become knowledgeable on it all the ins and outs, and then teach what you're learning to people in the form of YouTube videos, just cover it. And then what will happen, how this will turn into a business is you'll be able to get ad revenue from your YouTube videos. If you do this on YouTube, any other social media platform, you're probably not gonna make money. In the business niche, you're gonna get paid anywhere from five to $10 per CPM, which is per mil, all right, which is per thousand views. That's actually really good considering if you look at all these videos on the screen here, they're all cryptocurrency related. And funny enough, 
80% of them are not knowledgeable. So now let's move on to last but not least, streaming and podcasting. Anything live is really good because people, the audience can interact with that influencer or that person putting on the live stream right then and there. You can chat in the chat box. Like with this pre-recorded video you guys are seeing on my channel, you can type in the chat and then I have to wait to respond, you know, when I get a notification or when I have the time to do it. Whereas if I was live streaming this video, you type something in, I can see it right there. I can interact with you live. And that is so powerful. If you're not considering getting into live streaming in 2018, you're going to miss a huge boat. You're going to miss a huge opportunity and avenue to connect with people in a way that is unprecedented. And it's honestly replacing live television. I'm just telling you guys, it is replacing live television. And it's the best way to really engage an audience. You can stream anything. You could stream a live workout. You could stream a therapy session. You could stream yourself if you're a mechanic, how to change a car, all right? And then you could do consulting. You could help them solve their car problems and help them repair their car without them actually having to go to a mechanic themselves. So you, the mechanic, are mentoring other people. So now podcasting. Podcasting is super revolutional. Um, I think it's very underestimated and it's a huge trend that's coming up this year. Uh, I've seen a lot of influencers, I'll throw them up on the screen here, that have started podcasts. And the reason for it is it's a different avenue and channel to connect with your audience and engage your audience rather than just watching a video and visually connecting with people, right? You watch a video, you can see me, you can hear me. You have to pay attention to what's going on to really understand it. Podcasts, totally different. You don't have to visually see anything. You can plug in a headset and while you're working, while you're riding a bike, while you're working out, okay, while you're to and fro on the go. Why do you think the radio is such a big thing? It's because you don't have to visually watch the radio. You just turn on the radio in your car and you can drive. You can multitask. And we live in a world where everyone is busy and it's hard for people to find time to just sit down, relax, and have some downtime. Now, when it comes to streaming and podcasting, you can use a service on your mobile device. I don't know if you guys have heard of it before, but it's called Anchor. Probably wondering, well, Brando, how do I how do I turn this into a business? Like, how do I make money from it? Well, here's the thing. Once you start building up a following, posting consistent content, once you start doing this, after about six months, you're gonna build up a following, a really, really good fan base and following. And what will happen is companies and brands will want to sponsor you for a certain amount of money, all right? Also, people will start paying you for you to shout them out in your podcast, all right, and in your live streams. So there's multiple ways you can actually make money. It's just something that's been totally underlooked over the last couple years, and I honestly don't know why. I actually underlooked it, so I do know why. Other than that, guys, that is my pick in depth, in detail, walkthroughs, a little bit of walkthroughs, um, throwing it up on the screen here. I hope you enjoyed this video. As much as I did put it together for you, if you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, fuck, I don't know. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Doggo and I are out. <laughs> right, Rocky? You out? We out here? You ready? Let's go. Come on. Let's go, man. Let's go. All right, we're gone. <laughs>